Mob? There it is. Oh, that's a rascal. Hmm, is it hostile? Just a little mischievous. It lives on the ground and loves playing hide and seek. So do I, especially after lunch. An enchanted pickaxe for us. Oh, what a lovely gift. This must be a prize for finding it three times. If the community votes for the rascal, we can keep this game of hide and seek going forever. Will the rascal find its way into Minecraft's mines? Before we showcase the rascal, I do quickly just want to mention, if audio sounds different in this video, I apologize. I updated my PC uh, the other day and it messed with a load of audio settings. I'm trying to get them back to normal. But it's taken a bit longer than I thought, as I can't remember most of the settings. So if audio does sound a bit different, that is why. And also, if you enjoy this video, subscribe, as I will be adding the last final mob into the game tomorrow. The Tough Golem, when that is announced. So subscribe to see that, as I think the Tough Golem could be a really cool mob. So let's jump to showcasing the Rascal. Mob B, the Rascal. This will be a mob. Once again, ignore the texture, ignore the actual model. It's something I threw together in literally a few minutes, just so you guys get a rough idea. I like this mob. For the simple fact is we didn't actually have the backpack. In the trailer, it does have a sort of like rucksack on its back. But I like the idea of this mob. I just think it has to be made well for it to work. Now, the idea, obviously I showed you the trailer to begin the video. The idea is that this mob is a rascal. It's mischievous, you have to find it within caves. In the trailer it was a mineshaft, so I don't know if it'd only be mineshafts or all caves. But it would have to be something you basically hunt down. So, I like the idea of that. And if you find it three times, they showed you it giving you an iron pickaxe. Iron Pickaxe is not that good unless the enchantment on it is like, I don't know, Fortune 4 or something above what you can actually get from uh, enchanting. So maybe that would be a way to get like higher level enchants. That would then be good. But if it's just say like an Efficiency 5 Iron Pickaxe, no one's really going to want that. Um, at least early game they might, but once you get diamonds, then an iron pickaxe is kind of pointless. So I like the idea of this mob. Now, I how I theory it working is... Instead of having to look at it, because they said you have to spot it three times to get the reward, I would imagine you have to chase it. Imagine that chasing this thing around a cave, especially how the caves are now in 118. That would just be something that is cool. And then you have to, I don't know, maybe right click it and that would then be like a claim. It would then maybe do an animation where it disappears and then you'd have to find it twice more. Now, another thing that they didn't mention is, is there a time limit between the three times you have to find it? So do you have to find it within, let's say, three times within 10 Minecraft days or it resets and then you have to find it three times again? That's something they didn't mention. My guess is it probably would never reset. Um, I don't know, though. Because if it, say it resets every 10 days and they're quite rare, it's going to be very hard to get an iron pickaxe. Now the next thing, an iron pickaxe could just be a placeholder. It could be a diamond pickaxe when it finally releases. It could be something else. I think the iron pickaxe is probably just there as a placeholder. But once again, it's not if it is an iron pickaxe. This is actually a really good chance for a new item to be added, like the Totem of Undying. Where you have to find it three times to be given that item. And that would be the only way to get it. That would be really good. And then it would give the mob an actual use. If the uh, item is obviously useful. So with it just being the iron pickaxe. I find it kind of pointless. Um, but yeah. You can also see that I have done more work on the sniffer. As you can see, it's very broken at the moment, the animations, we are still working on that. But we've got a better model now, we've got a better texture, and we have also got the eggs right here. I'll cover these again in a future video, probably a video towards the beginning of next week, because I want to obviously talk about them all again. But this one, I think the Rascal is a very good mob. Let's quickly just go and summon it within a cave. But if it looks like this, then it, I didn't actually do that bad of a thing with a texture. I obviously could have added more detail to it, but I wanted to get it quickly in game. So we are now within a cave. And as you can see, the rascal is standing there. This, uh, I was just thinking, and this could be the perfect idea for a new structure. 
like the actual dungeons i'm actually within mo features so there are some modded things as you can see there's a deep slate dungeon right here instead of one of these maybe you could find a rascal's hideout that would be a really cool idea and maybe within that hideout there's some loot and maybe a bit more about the rascal as then that would also mean exploring underground you might even find their hideout which maybe they have a higher chance to be there but it could also mean maybe at a certain time of day they have a higher chance to be there so you have to like time yourself going there that's an idea they didn't obviously announce that but that's just me thinking now where's the rascal gone okay it's over here but I like the idea of this mob. I don't think I'm going to vote it because I just think it's one of them things that once again will probably become useless unless that item that is a, they showed as an iron pickaxe is something useful. I don't see uh, me caring that much. But also this mob has a huge potential for not only a new structure underground, that item it gives you after spotting it three times it could be something like the Totem of Undying that players want to go after. And then that would make this mob one of the most useful mobs. And it would mean that you have to go into caves. Because currently, if you build an iron farm, a copper farm, the only real reason you have to go in caves is for diamonds. But after a while, they become pointless anyway. Because you can farm iron, you can farm emeralds, you can farm redstone, you can farm copper. So having to come into the caves for these... That would obviously force players into caves. So, let me know what you guys think of the Rascal. Will it be getting your vote or will you be voting the Sniffer? Now, obviously, we do have one more vote, which is rumoured to be the Tough Golem. Which, already by the name, I want to vote for it. But obviously, I am going to wait to see what it does. At the moment, out of the two, I think my vote goes towards the Rascal. But it just depends on the item, but we won't actually find out. So I think it would have to go with a sniffer because I think it, it, risking it just being an iron pickaxe is not worth it because then it would be one of them mobs that are just in the game as clutter. If you stayed this late on in the video, then I just want to say something I've noticed. While making these mobs, there's a colour that is consistent in both mobs i don't know if that is going to be some sort of color palette for the next update but if you look at both mobs you've got the sniffer right here which has this bluish greenish shell and if we go to the rascal the rascal has a, a, it's a bit like darker the rascal but it has the same bluish greenish coat on so I don't know if that's a hint at maybe what 1.20's colour theme might be around. It might be something to do with a blue-ish biome or block. But it could also just mean nothing and it could just be a coincidence that they both have the same colours. But anyway, that's where I'm going to end this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of the Rascal. And also let me know what one you are voting for, Rascal or Sniffer. But once again, there is still the Tough Golem. So let's see what that is like tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in a video tomorrow where I'll be adding the tough golem. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.